Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new video, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make Minecraft run faster. Uh, this will be mostly useful for those of you who have slower computers, or maybe an Apple or Mac. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is go down into your search bar. Now, um, I think on Mac there would be some way to figure this out. I don't exactly know, I've never really used Mac. Um, but then, uh, system and click on control panel here and uh, you're going to want to look for this installed memory here 16 gigs uh, so you're going to look at look at what you have I have 16 gigs um, of RAM so you're just going to know that uh, for later in the video um, but first things first we're going to want to uh, open our Minecraft launcher and uh, your Minecraft launcher may look something like this I want to go up to this, uh, these three lines here and click it and you'll uh, have these four options here. And I want to go to launch options, uh, sorry settings first and then you're going to want to make sure that both of these are unchecked. Um, and then launch options here. Uh, this is what you're going to do guys, you're going to basically uh, click on one so if you've never really messed with this, you're just going to have this latest release. And you're going to click on that and you're gonna go to this green arrow right here um, and click on that and you're gonna be created with this file stuff here so uh, this file stuff is gonna be pretty important um, and what you wanna go down to is versions and then in versions you're gonna go to the current version of that of minecraft that you're using so right now I'm using 1.12.2 going to go ahead and open this and you're gonna find a JSON and a jar file uh, you're gonna copy the jar okay and once you've copied the jar you're going to go to your uh, desktop and paste that so you're gonna have this jar here uh, then what you're gonna want to do is gonna right click on that and you're going to go to rename and you're gonna instead of having a jar you're going to go zip you're gonna be granted with this uh, warning um, just say yes it's okay uh, since you copied it so I already have the zip here, so, uh, yep, so here's the zip right here. Um, and it's going to look something like this with the version you're using. Uh, so now what you're going to do is you're going to open up zip. And you're going to have all these uh, just random stuff. So you're going to want to find the assets folder. And, uh, sorry, whoops, uh, you're just going to want to copy the assets and then paste assets. All right, so once it is done, you're gonna have this assets folder right here. Um, so open that up. And there's gonna be this uh, thing here. You just go ahead and delete that. Open the Minecraft folder. Sorry, don't rename it. And you're gonna find some things here. So you're gonna go and right click on loot tables, delete that. You're also going to go to structures and you're going to delete that and then the rest you can leave up to you um, recipes you can also delete so you should have these uh, four eight folders and then um, yeah so go ahead and close this you're gonna have your assets folder uh, so just put it somewhere on your desktop next you'll want to go to uh, your browser I'm on Google Chrome uh, you're just going to want to know where your browser downloads to and go ahead and type in Minecraft Forge. Alright, so you're going to find Minecraft Forge right here. Go ahead and click on that. And there's going to be two things up here for the current version. Uh, now, if this isn't the version you're using, so if you're in a past version of Minecraft, uh, just at the side here, you will find all the different versions. Um, and there's drop down menus so anyways I'm gonna be doing this for 1.12.2 and you can download the latest or the recommended either works um, so I'm gonna do the recommended and basically what you have here is a Windows installer and a regular installer so the Windows installer obviously is for Windows 
and this one um, works with Windows and uh, and Mac. So I'm just gonna do the regular installer, uh, so people with Mac can follow along. So you're gonna come to this page here. Uh, do not click download now. You're gonna wait up here in this top corner where it says skip. Go ahead and click that, and it's gonna download to where you download are on your browser. Mine are down here at the bottom. So go ahead and uh, click show in folder, um, and you're gonna drag this jar file onto your desktop. Now if you did a Windows install, it will be a different file, um, but it will still work. So now go back to your browser and you're going to go ahead and go to um, another thing. Go ahead and search Minecraft Optifine. Now it's going to be Optifine Downloads. And I have all these versions. Uh, I recommend just the top version uh, for your version that you're using. 1.1242 for me and you can do any of these uh, download is the quickest it's really simple there's just a quick uh, thing here and then you click download say keep and show in folder so you're gonna have an optifine jar as well so you should have two jars on your desktop ready to go so now what it is time to do is uh, open your minecraft launcher and run the version of uh, Minecraft that you are installing Forge for, so 1.12.2, 1.12. I'm going to run that real quick, and I'll come back to you guys. All right, I have ran it, and it's all good. So go ahead and uh, double-click Forge, um, and you're gonna be with this. Now, if this doesn't work, uh, right-click and open with. Java TM platform SE binary. So go ahead and double click that and this should uh, be installed. So first thing you're going to do is uncheck Mercury Mercurius. Uh, so it just puts more load on your system. So you don't want that. Uh, that's what we're trying to reduce. So just say OK. And it will uh, come up with this and you're just going to say OK. Alright, so once you're done with that, you can basically just throw that away, you're done with that. Uh, so now, it's time to do uh, the Optifine, put Optifine into your Minecraft. So the way to do that is you go, uh, again, you're going to have this little thing, launch options, uh, click one of these, go to the green arrow, and you're going to find um, mods. And if you don't have a mods folder, just make one. Uh, mods all over case uh, open that up and drag it to where you want it I already have it here so uh, right here as you can see so I don't need to worry about that um, so yeah the next thing you're gonna want to do is exit out of your launcher and go ahead and open your browser now this website is I did not make and uh, yeah but you're gonna look up vanilla Whoops, sorry. <laughs> we know weeks, and there's going to be one by Zoomavoid, who is an amazing YouTuber. Go ahead and check him out. Um, can I exit full screen? There we go. <laughs> okay, so uh, you go ahead and click on that. So you're going to be on his website. It's an amazing website. And this, uh, we're going to be making uh, some sort of texture pack that will help us uh, make this a little bit more of a faster game. So the first thing that's going to be automatically open is aesthetic. Go ahead and click solid slime and then close that window. Now we're going to go uh, down to uh, um, unobtrusive and you're going to want to click clean gloves and clean stained glass and lower fire. These three are very important because basically the lower fire uh, caused your computer to have less load. Clean glass, again, less load because glass is really hard to render. So having cleaner glass makes it easier to render. Um, and then it's really cool, the stuff you can search through here. There's a few things that I wouldn't do, uh, such as a transparent GUI or a smoother font might make it uh, harder for you to uh, run. But other than that, uh, you can pretty much do whatever 
but when you're done with that you can go ahead and download you're gonna have this little zip down here you're gonna go ahead and open or sorry show in folder <laughs> you're gonna drag the zip file onto your desktop so this is going to be uh, basically all you're gonna need now this assets folder um, is if you have uh, basically is so I can demonstrate how to add this to an existing resource pack so basically what you would do is you would open your resource pack so just pretend this is a resource pack you go into your minecraft folder I'm sorry you don't even need to do that you can just open this and then you can open this and copy what is ev whatever is inside assets so you just say copy and then you paste it in here but since uh, all we're going to be doing is just putting the vanilla tweaks into our resource packs folder uh, that's all we need to do so go ahead and launch your minecraft game or launch your sorry go ahead go to your launch options again that's just with these three launch options go here here and you're gonna have the folder again and you're gonna have a resource packs folder if you don't have one again make one resource packs one word no uppercase letters go ahead and drag that to there uh, i already use this and i have my own texture pack if you guys are interested um, but once you're done once you drag that just go ahead and exit out of that and then you can go and play um, your thing but there's one more thing we need to do before you launch and that is again go to launch options and go to this add new so you can pick any block that is in here i'm gonna pick um let's pick tnt all right and we're gonna name it um tutorial uh sorry tutorial and we're gonna go into here this is where you need to learn so go all the way down and you'll find this forge which is 1.12.2 is which the, is the one we downloaded um, and you click that and it should download here uh, this stuff yeah so if you remember at the beginning of the video I told you guys to um, remember your RAM that's because we need to go to this one JVM arguments now if you can't get to this area I believe there's a way to go to advanced I don't exactly know which that is I think uh, if you just go, uh, so yeah, there's an advanced way. So if you I think it's just uh, regular, but we're gonna name it. And go to again the very bottom one is usually the one it downloads to Forge, and you're gonna go down to here and click this one it's the uh, fourth one down it's called JVM arguments and there's gonna be this uh, XMX and then uh, 1G so if you remember your RAM uh, or need to quickly check just type in system and you'll find it so mine is 16 so you would go with 8 uh, so if you have 8 gigs of RAM you would do 4 if you have 4 gigs you do 2 um, four is pretty much the most you're ever going to need so I'm just going to do four so if you have more than eight gigs of RAM uh, pretty much just do four unless you want to but it still gives your computer other areas now if you have four gigs of space again you would do two but yeah that will help the uh, load on your game so once you've changed that the only thing you want to change you want to save this and you're going to find it somewhere in here, the tutorial of TNT. So now we can go to back to our news option. And go up to here and you'll see all these things. We have our tutorial. We're going to play that. And it's going to launch the game for us. So as you can see up here is where that 4 gigs of RAM is loaded. Is allowed. This helps load the game and play the game so that's why we did that all right so here is the beginning you may be noticing i have a resource pack on right now so go ahead and go to options resource packs um, and we'll remove mine and we're going to go to this one that we downloaded and we're going to say done 
So it's gonna take a little bit to load, done. Okay, and here is the default Minecraft thing. So we're just gonna say, um, uh, whatever. We can go into a single player world and create new world. Um, let's go into creative and create a new world. All right, so here is our world. As you can see, we have some settings in there. But it's time to mess with these Optifine settings. So, uh, go ahead and go to your options menu and video settings. And you'll see down in the corners, you'll see Optifine. And uh, that will be enabling all this new stuff that you may not be used to. So, the first thing you want to do is graphics fast. You want to have that set to fast. I personally have it on fast because it gives me a little bit of an advantage when I'm in caves. Uh, smooth lighting, you're going to have off. Um, and then smooth lighting levels, you want to have at 100%. Uh, GUI scale, you want to have on uh, definitely. Uh, oh, geez. You want to have on auto. <laughs> and then you want to have uh, your dynamic lights off. Shaders, you don't worry about those. Details, you're going to click on this and you're going to have all these things. I'd recommend turning clouds off. Trees, I would have either on smart or uh, fast, but I'm going to have them on smart. Sky, on or off. Off, uh, just, it still looks like a sky, I guess, um, kind of. <laughs> but, uh, so back to here. We're going to have sky on. Sun and moon, you can turn off, but I think it's fine. Fog, you want to have definitely off. Translucence blocks, I would put these on fast. Um, but with the texture pack, you can have them on default. Uh, dropped items, default. Vignette, uh, you want to have this fast. Uh, swamp colors, you want to have uh, off. Now, you can read all of these, and they'll have definitely cool things that you can do. Uh, stars, you might want to turn off. Again, random snow fast. You just want to have these all on their good things. And then the one last thing you want, want to do is quality. And you'll find this better grass. Or grass. And you'll have uh, fancy dynamic size, texture, slowest. Uh, and if you just have them off, it'll be the fastest. So, uh, again, now that you may notice, the grass is back to default. And, uh, yeah, you're running Minecraft pretty fast. I'm in the village. Um, now you may be seeing these trees. The fastest way to run trees, in my opinion, would be, uh, oops, uh, video settings. I believe it's under quality. Uh, is it is it under quality? No, it would be under details. And uh, trees you're going to have on default or fast. Fast is a good one. Um, and as you see, basically what it does is it makes this a solid looking texture. So the game has not worry about uh, opacity. Um, so yeah, that is basically all you're really going to do. Now, fiddling with all of these, I think uh, it's fine. Now, if you have a better computer, um, or I don't know, if you want to do that, that's fine. But the one last thing I want to show you is the slime because we did get a different slime texture. All it is is a solid slime, so again, no opacity. Uh, and then the glass, the glass here, and here, I'm just gonna show you really quick. Um, so I'm gonna have a glass here, a glass here. As you can see, it's just straight through. And yeah, I think regular glass should do that unless I... Yeah, so again, less for the game to render. So. I hope you guys uh, found this video useful. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.